The visiting Canadian swim team at Club Aquatique Montreal says their training at the National Aquatic Centre in Coover has been one of their best ever experiences. The team has been in this country since before the turn of the year. Last evening, Minister of Sport Daryl Smith, as well as the Canadian High Commissioner Carla Hogan Ruffles, visited. The 11 swimmers and two coaches have been making good use of the newly opened aquatic centre, putting in two sessions a day in the pool as they prepare for the season ahead. Head coach Claude Saint-Jean says the team's program is desired around allowing his swimmers to put in miles in the pool in an environment with little or no distractions. He believes that the facilities are amongst the best he has ever seen. At first, when I said I want to go to Trinidad, I just saw a picture on the internet and sometimes picture you're like, eh, maybe they're fake. But <laughs> I come here and I'm like, wow, this is great. Sharing a similar view was swimmer Catherine Savard, who was part of the Canadian team that won bronze in the 4 by 200 meter freestyle at the Rio Olympics. Um, it's been amazing. Actually, it's one of my best training camp ever. I've been all around the world and I can say that it's one of the best training venue I've seen. Uh, the fact that there's two pools that we can swim outside and inside, so this is really amazing and everyone is taking care of us, so this is really great. Minister of Sport Daryl Smith says the Camus team visit is part of their sport tourism push and hope that the word will begin to spread from their visit to our facilities. People for years have heard the word sports tourism mm -hmm. and I keep saying that it's just been a buzzword but this is for the first time the ministry and sport company has really thrived and we pushed to, to work with the agencies who do these type of uh, arrangements and we have a number of others lined up. We really put out the red carpet for this team being the first and as you know just like anywhere else they will communicate when they go to their fraternities throughout the world about this experience and that in itself we can't pay for that advertising. Kent Fuentes, C-Sports.